Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna go over my top five advantages of an cordless electric chainsaw over a gas powered chainsaw. If you didn't see my gas powered chainsaw video, there'll be a link in the description below. That is the top five advantages of a gas powered chainsaw over a cordless electric chainsaw. So these aren't in any particular order or anything like that. And just know that again, I mentioned this in the last video, but this isn't to tell you which one is best for you. It's just to give you a couple of things to think about, just a short list of advantages to either or chainsaw when considering purchasing one. So again, not in any particular order, but we'll start with our number one, and that's just faster start time. You literally just take a battery, plug it into the chainsaw, and you can get to work. With the gas-powered chainsaw, it takes a lot more time to get running. You have to prime it, pull it, and then if you're not keeping up on your maintenance, you know, you got bad fuel on the carburetor or whatever, which is gonna be generally the biggest cause of no starts on a gas power chainsaw then you're gonna have a heck of a time get it going that's if you don't keep up on the maintenance but if you even if you are keeping up on the maintenance it's gonna take you longer to get it going and then you're gonna have to sit there and wait for it to warm up so my number two advantage to the cordless electric chainsaws over the gas chainsaws this is a real obvious one but I think it is important is that just generally these cordless chainsaws are going to be way quieter and i don't even know if generally probably pretty much across the board you're going to have a more quiet chainsaw with the cordless chainsaws over the gas chainsaws that'd be nice because you can keep the earplugs off and it could even translate into a little bit of safety if especially if you're cutting around other people maybe even felling trees or whatever you would be able to hear uh, what's going on around you without all the hearing protection because they are not so loud that you have to wear hearing protection. So another semi-obvious one is going to be just that in general they're less maintenance. So this gas chainsaw, you're going to have to change out the air filter, you're going to have to clean out the carburetor once in a while, change the fuel filter, and then once in a while you're even going to have to change out your piston and rings and rebuild the top end of a gas chainsaw. Where with an electric chainsaw, as long as your electric motor is good, it's pretty much maintenance free and trouble free, assuming you don't run into any shorts or anything like that with the wiring or any problems to that effect. Number four, this isn't really a problem for me, but a lot of people do find mixing gas uh, frustrating or maybe even challenging. It's just hard to get the right ratios. There is always that stress that I put enough oil in, did I put in too much oil? Mixing gas can be a little bit of a pain in the neck. Not to mention you don't have gas that ever goes bad. So that's one little bonus one. You don't have to mix gas. Like I said, you just plug in the battery and go to work. So when I originally made this video, I said that my number five was that cordless chainsaws were going to be lighter weight than gas chainsaws. And I went and looked at a couple of different models. I looked at what I think was a Milwaukee and a DeWalt and their weights and compared it to like a steel MS-170 which is basically the smallest steel chainsaw that you can get gas powered chainsaw and then uh, one of the Echoes that's sold at Home Depot and I compared the weights and I actually found that the cordless chainsaws were a little bit heavier now I don't know what they're whether those weights are including bar oil and gasoline and then if the cordless chainsaws were including batteries and whatnot I don't know about that I just took weights off of the product informations of those products in the specification sections and I just decided that probably was kind of a weak number five and I better come up with something a little bit better. So I do think generally speaking, uh, your cordless chainsaws probably are gonna be a little bit lighter weight, especially if you're comparing something like my MS-180 or my Husqvarna 440 compared to like my little eight inch bar Bauer, you know, so that's not exactly a fair comparison, but I still would bet that generally speaking, you're probably gonna find some lighter weight, but I feel like I've got a better number five for it. And that's probably just that their cost of ownership is just gonna be significantly cheaper for a cordless chainsaw. So I've already kind of briefly covered uh, that maintenance is going to be a lot easier on a cordless chainsaw. Well, that's also going to translate into less cost of ownership. For a cordless chainsaw, you don't have to buy air filters. You don't have to buy spark plugs. You don't have to buy fuel every time. The alternative to that is that you are going to have to pay the electric bill and assume at your house or somewhere to charge up the battery of the cordless chainsaw. But I bet that that's going to be, I don't know, I can't imagine it costing more than a penny to five cents. I mean, five cents seems even ridiculous to charge up a cordless chainsaw battery. So to go buy a gallon of fuel, in my area, it's gonna cost you about $3.20 a gallon. Then you gotta go dumping in your two-stroke oil too. So you are looking already at just about four to five dollars a gallon for gasoline powered chainsaws and you could probably easily run through a gallon in a full day of work of course cordless chainsaws aren't the best thing for a full day of work but the cost of ownership just all the way across the board is going to be a lot more cordless chainsaws 
as long as you're keeping those batteries charged and you're taking care of your bar and chain, it's gonna be very maintenance free, which is going to translate into a reduced cost of ownership. Anyway guys, that is my top five advantages of an electric cordless electric chainsaw over a gas powered chainsaw. Thanks for watching this video. Remember, if there's something that I skipped that's an advantage of the electric chainsaws, the cordless electric chainsaws over the gas powered chainsaws, let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. Like I said in the last video, I'm always looking for some constructive or positive criticism or critiques or just addition. I love additional information. That's the best kind of comments to get. So if you have something to add, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I hope to see you in my next video.